What's up, Terry? Let me let y'all pull up real quick. We're gonna be live for like an hour. What's up, Terry? Let me know once y'all pull up, bro, cuz I know how it be. Yo, what's good, Devin? I'm not gonna lie, I've been going for a couple Yeezys. Let me open confirm that. See if I could pull it up right here. I went for a couple slides. I'm waiting for the pirate blacks, to be honest. What's up, Terry? The fuck? Y'all gotta go and confirm that, bro. Right now, they ain't, show, they ain't gonna show shit right here. Let me see. Oh, all right, right here, right here, boom. Yo, relax. Yeah, you gotta go on to confirm that. Yo, what's good, Florian? What's up, Terry? Yeah, that shit been on my head all day, bro. What y'all up to? What y'all going for so far, too? All I went for is the slides in both colors. I went for the slides. And I have these already. Have these already. I don't need a new pair. These are I right, actually. The motherfucking Belugas. They cool. Not really too pressed. I got these, so I'm chilling. I want these, bro. Once these load up, I need these. Oh, you already copped them? Damn. I didn't know they already chose winners and shit. That might have took an L then. I'm not going to lie. What's up, Terry? Yeah, it says draw started. Yo, y'all saw that they shipping in like 23 days? That shit is crazy. Yeah, it says I'm participating, but it's not. Mm -hmm. I ain't get shit yet. I'm really just waiting for the Pirate Blacks, bro. Once those touch down, we chilling. Y'all copping Supreme this week? Let me know, bro. Honestly, it's another one of those for me. This whole season, I've been kind of on and off about it. But Lugas are so ass. The confirmed app won't even... End the draw because no one signed enough. <laughs> was supposed to end the 16 hours ago. Facts. I low key peeped. It was like last chance or some shit. Like, bro, y'all know damn well y'all got extra pairs and people ain't even entering. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. What else do y'all want? Like, what are y'all going for from the Yeezy shit? My fault, bro. I'm trying to open this shit up right here for y'all. Vans could have been so much better. I low-key, I like the lows, but damn, I'm going for Yeezys instead for sure. Yeah, bro. I, come on, like. Me and my woke days, like, it's not letting me go for shit like this. Like, brother, this is the root of all evil looking at us. I'm good on this. But it's really nothing too special, you feel me? Like, it's not. Got lucky on the Onyx, though, and I flipped them straight for some sneaky $25, pro 25 euro profit. Damn, how the fuck y'all already hit him, bro? I haven't gotten nothing, 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 not a damn thing, bro. It has not gone through for me. Yeah, it ain't doing shit for me over here, bro. I'm really just here for the slides and the pirate blacks. That's all I need. All the Yeezys I could have wanted, I already got. So I'm chilling. Y'all already know the vibes. Once we get the likes up on this video, I'll start talking about what we need to talk about. For now, we just kicking it. We just kicking it, you know. Let me put this shit right here so I can see. We 
chilling. W on the slides and Onyx pairs today as if they ha still have Pirate Blacks in stock. They came out like seven years ago. <laughs> now they, bro, they bringing them back. What you mean? Relax. They dropping. We just don't know what time they dropping, but they dropping. Damn, I need to bring back the videos, bro. I don't know why I stopped doing the full review. It's just like editing that shit got annoying. I guess I could kind of do it on the green screen. I might I might bring that back next week. I'm not going to lie. Just for you, bro. I'm not going to lie. Los Angeles King, I might do the, the review how I used to. Just for you, bro. I don't know. I kind of got tired of editing it. I just want to sit down, chop it up with y'all, and then... Get up out of here, you know? L.A. King, bro. Next week, I got you. I kind of be enjoying talking to y'all, though. I'm not going to lie. That's the main reason why I do it like this. Damn, Marco getting the Jaguar? You got that bread, my brother. 1500 both are shipped already. Yeah, them shit's ready to go. Over here, they say they're supposed to ship like in 23 days or some shit. Like, bro, like what? I just want some slides, bro. Like, are they still pulling people from the draw? Like, I haven't gotten nothing. I don't know if I should get the Szechuans too. Like, I kind of want these. Hold on, let me lower the brightness. I don't know if I should go for these, bro. That shit blurry as hell. These shits. Bro, come the slides are like top tier, bro. I have four pairs and I'm still trying to buy more. Not even gonna lie. Beluga sitting in EU. They probably they probably sitting out here. That's why they stretch the time, like homie said. That shit's crazy, bro. I wonder if it's because people are supporting Ye in a way. Or they're just not fucking with him for what he said, or I don't know. But either way, people not fucking with it, bro. Or maybe there's too many pairs. Nah, they, they would have sold out back in the day. Y'all wonder, did y'all low-key peep that I dropped my clothing brand? I don't know, bro. I've been promoting it. I'm trying to get my shit out there, obviously. But yeah, I dropped my shit, bro. It's crazy, crazy. Our slides usually true to size. Same with foam runners, if you know. Most people were saying true to size for foams. Honestly, I went true to size on... I went true to size on the foam runners, and they fit I On slides, honestly, it varies depending on the actual slide that you have. Like, my Onyx slides are size 9, and I had the green pair, which... We're size 10, and they fit like the size 9. Like, bro, hella tricky. Yo, this is just the beginning, bro. Like, I'm trying to find a good-ass pair of shorts so I could drop for the summer. That's what's coming next. I might throw this logo on them, the Dove. I feel like that'll be hard on the shorts. But I'm also working on some more shit, too. Size up half is the best, but he's talking about on slides and shit. On slides, I don't think you could size up half. It's a whole size. I wear 12 and 350 V2s and 10 in slides. That's crazy, bro. Crazy. What you mean? That's a no. What happened to the what? A no to what? Marco. Yo, if y'all want to cop anything... I'm, a, I'm doing like a subscriber discount, which is 15% off. It's literally sub 15. Because y'all really the ones who be rocking with me anyway. So I got to give y'all a better discount. I might do like sneaker giveaways with the merch too. Like if you cop, I'll throw you in for a sneaker giveaway or some shit like that. I need to work out the, the kinks to it though. Cargos are a must. But the slides are perfectly hugging my feet that way. Yeah, I hate when they're fucking, like, loose on my foot. I don't like that shit. 
if you want them bigger size up like if you want the slides to fit you big not too big but like with some decent room to be honest go true to size i'm telling you i wear 10 and a half and 350 v2s and a nine in slides shit crazy bro <laughs> most definitely crazy We about to start up real soon, bro. If y'all want me to start the drop list, leave a like on this video. We about to get this shit started. What the fuck going on, folks? What's good, Marvin? Shit chilling. You feel me? About to start talking about the um drop list in a little bit. But if y'all haven't entered on the Yeezy shit, there's a bunch of kicks, slides, and shit still loaded up on the confirmed app. So make sure y'all check that out. You feel me? If y'all just stepping in, you feel me? If you don't know I dropped my brand. I did drop my brand. I got a promo code just for y'all, which is SUB15 for 15% off. This is a pre-order, you feel me? But I'm going to get these done ASAP, low-key. And they about to go out. They about to go out, bro. The one that sold the best for me so far is Fine Light. I feel like people really like this one. I don't know why. Magazine Camp Cap go hard. Agreed. Not going to lie. Agreed. Oh, shoot. I'm going to check that out. Thanks, Nori. Always coming through. Yo, bro, I'm trying... It's crazy, because it's like... I really realized, like, starting your own brand, bro, it's a lot. It's hard to put yourself out there like that, bro. Like, and you can't always expect people to show up for you, so it's understandable. You got what I'm saying? Like, people got shit to do, shit to deal with. So it is what it is, but... Putting yourself out there is a big-ass step, bro. That's why I've been trying to promote it. Do my due diligence to make sure that we can get on the right track as far as this shit goes, but I'm not gonna lie, bro. It's, it's not that easy. <laughs> shit is not that easy, bro. But it's cool, you feel me? I've been persistent with everything else in my life. I gotta stay consistent. That's all it is. I just wanna make sure y'all know, 15% off, sub 15. Most of my videos from here on out are gonna be sponsored by Nori, you feel me? <laughs> but yeah, what's going on? Let me see. All right, let's, let's see what we talking about. So one last time, make sure y'all check this out. I definitely just want to cook up on a couple pairs of slides. I want these mandatory for summer. I, I use a pair of these literally every day. I was trying to tell y'all, bro, like every day. So I'm trying to double up on those. Trying to double up on those for sure. I could really give a fuck less about the the foam runners. Those, all right, you feel me? Like, all right, it's all right. They cool. I honestly just rather the slides. But these right here, need these, N need these. Do you ship to EU? Yeah, I do. Shipping is probably a little more. I don't know how much it would be. I know I put it on there so that you can buy from EU if you want to, to be honest. But just use that sub 15 to save you and kind of balance it out a little bit. Cause... Yo, I promise y'all, this is just the beginning too, bro. Like. This is like a glimpse of the ideas that I have in my head. Low key, I got so much more shit that I want to drop, but I knew I had to start somewhere, so I just bit the bullet. You know what I'm saying? Because with me, like I'm the type of person who wants shit perfect, but I know that that could be my demise, to be honest, because I'll sit here and keep trying to like tweak shit and do other shit, and I'll never drop it. Like I'll that ass not make it happen. So I'm kind of glad that I was like, you know what? Fuck it. For real, the era of VS, BS are hard. What's that, bro? I'm not gonna lie. Era, BS, BS. Oh, you're talking about the Vans. I'm like, what the fuck? All right, y'all. It's like I'm stepping into the ring, bro. Next week, I'm gonna do the video for y'all how I used to. It was requested by the homie LA. And I'm gonna make it happen for y'all. Alright, let's get to it though, bro. Let me know if y'all ready, bro. Let me know if y'all ready. Y'all know what to do, son. Yo, also, did y'all peep? I changed the astro from my name. I removed that shit like it's... 
swerved it. It's only Nori now. But um, we got the Gradient Mesh Stripe jersey. Shit is ass, bro. Off the rip, this is the titty shower right here. Y'all remember the nipple tassels that dropped? Y'all remember those. That's for this right here, bro. Like, honestly, I don't know why they even dropping this right here. It's like some soccer vibes. Definitely some soccer vibes from now on. We good. You got the reversible Mustang basketball jersey. Okay. I don't, I don't know what this is supposed to mean, though. Like, what the fuck does the horse have to do with anything? Why is the horse even here? Maybe one day we'll find out, bro, bro. I don't know. The horse does not belong, bro. Like, what basketball team got a horse on it, though? I guess we'll never know on some Kanye shit. We got the embroidered brim bucket. This is actually kind of hard. I like the fact that it has that old English font, to be honest. I'm a sucker for old English font. And that's pretty much it. all it has going for it. There's only one bucket hat I really fucked with this whole season. And that shit is not it. This one right here. Yo, Florian, bro. You are searching up the wrong videos on the website that you're on right now. I'm not gonna lie. Now, the bucket ain't bad, bro. I don't know if that yellow goes with the thunders. But that might be a kind, kind of cool little, little cool little thing, you know? Cool little thing going on with the thunders and that right there. You got the trademark Jaguar denim shirt. Three colors. For some reason, I feel like this was supposed to drop like weeks ago. Maybe I'm tripping. But yeah, this one drops in these three colors right here. Honestly, nothing too special. It's almost giving me Levi's like... Mm -hmm. I don't know. Nothing special, like I said before, bro. This is ass. Definitely ass. It's not my cup of tea. It's giving me Levi Jordan 4 vibes. You do got the baggy pants to go with it. In my opinion, the pants are better than the jersey or the, the button-up shit. Mm. Am I fucking with these, though? It says baggy pants, too. Y'all already know that Supreme Skinny Jeans are baggy. So these right here, bro... These definitely the bottom of the sneakers pants right here. Like, they're gonna drag, bruh. Do y'all remember when people used to put the little fucking... The... What do you call that shit? Why am I forgetting right now? It's the pin that you push it on the wall. Thumbtack. People used to put the thumbtack on the back of their sneaker to hold the pants up. Yo. If you... <laughs> Come on, son. I know. I gotta find this shit. My bad, bro. I just have to find it. Damn. They used to put the thumbtack to hold the pants up, bro. I can't find a picture of it, but... If you from New York, you know that was actually a thing. Like, actually, though. But yeah, these remind me of thumbtack pants. We gonna skip on these. Oh, my dream sneaker, bro. I might have to put in an offer for these. Low key, I got two pairs of early kicks on the way. Like I said on my last video, if y'all haven't watched. And GOAT been playing with me, bro. They definitely hold me. I ordered them May 18th or some shit like that. And they just now got authenticated. But hopefully we could still get them before the release. And I got another pair that's beautiful bro on the way we about to we about to go crazy bro we about to go crazy for real um these gradient mesh shorts four different colors it's the same shit as the jersey honestly nothing too special if you're gonna spend a hundred dollars don't spend it on this like whatever you do this bro like i don't understand like i'm not even getting excited for supreme no more that's the shit though i'm not gonna lie to y'all Shit has changed for me. We got the piping arc logo sweater. This one comes in like four colors. Got that 94 and like this shiny plastic bag, like leather looking ass on the back. Ye this is ass too, bro. Dylan, I agree with all the ass in this, bro. 100%. This is ass too, bro. Oh, I thought that was like a minty blue color. Nah, this shit is dookie, bro. 
Yeezy slides, they true to size or size up. I right. I would not size up, first of all. I'm not trying to give y'all the wrong, wrong advice. Take my shit with a grain of pepper. Por favor, bro. Like, I'm just trying to tell you from my experience. I have a size 10 Yeezy slide that fits like a 9. And I have a 9 that fits like a 10. It's all depending, bro. Like, literally, these are size... size nine bro and they fit like a 10 like they fit me perfectly i like them fitting a little bit on the snugger side i don't like some floppy ass slides that's just me though so i went with a nine and i'm a ten and a half and three fifties mind you for size reference so do with that what you want personally i signed up size nine i believe on the slides today because like i said i like my shits fitting a little snugger Yo, matter of fact, you're making me double check. Like, I don't know what slot, what size I went for. I think I went. Oof, you got me stressing, but I'm not gonna lie. Got me fucking stressing. Are they actual Birkins or you got the Firkin stocks? Yo, Dylan, bro, let me know you copping the Firkin stocks. If y'all in here right now, bro, leave a like on this video. What y'all doing? Y'all showing love, but not the right love. We need to spread this shit out. Like, I'm trying to tell y'all, bro. YouTube be trying to hold me. Like, I'll post a video. That shit got, like, 300 views. Like, come on, bro. That shit be stressful. I'm not going to lie. But, um, Vans, Skate, Grosso, Mid. Bro. They're mid, bro. Like, do y'all like these? Like, realistically, are y'all fucking with these? If it wasn't Supreme, would y'all buy these? Like. These wouldn't even cross my mind, bro. Like, these the shits that be sitting on PacSun. Like, when you walk by type shit on the little thing. You got the Perkin stocks. My boy got the fucking Perkin stocks. <laughs> Homie got the Perkins, bro. Homie got the motherfucking Perkies. <laughs> the Perkin stocks. But yeah, these shits is ass, bruh. Call it what you want. These bitches is ass. If I were to cop one, which I'm not, it'd probably just be the this cream color. I like that contrast with the cream and the black side. Boom. But the, the design, like, bro, a dollar bill? Come on, homie. Like, what in the Wu-Tang is going on? Yo, bruh, if you fucking with the Perkin stocks, you good. Like, honestly, it don't fucking matter, bruh. They're slides. If you like them, you like them. We got the Beef and Brock suede visor hat honestly bro i talk my shit all the time but this cam cap ain't too bad mainly because i'm looking at the beef and broccoli color i feel like that contrast of materials is kind of calling my name i want to see what this baby blue got going on on the front i'm assuming it's a white brim so that's automatically disqualified but if it would have been cream hey i would have been in the scene but that shit's ass we fucking with the beef and broccoli they fit just the same as Vans Skate High and, like, most Vans. They're a nice daily fit. Still, the fit is harder than people think. Damn, I ain't get selected, bro. Y'all heard it here first. That's fucked up, people. Damn, y'all can't even see. My fault, bro. Azur Blue. Not selected. Y'all heard it here first. I'm tight, bro. I wanted those. Wanted those, bro. That sucks. That sucks ass. Low key, damn. I low key wanted those more than the black. I already got the black. Dang. Hopefully we could cop the black pair, bro. But yeah. Suede brim. It's high. It's actually not that bad. This jacket go crazy, bro. Is it just me? Or does this give Arcteryx vibes like that same type of windbreaker-ish, anorak type vibe, but with a different brand to it type shit. Like, not the everyday Arcteryx. It has that same kind of style to it, though. And I'm fucking with it. That Supreme branding, subtle on it. You got a small hit on the front, bigger hit on the back. This cream color go crazy, bro. Cream go crazy on this one. Yeah, this one go hard. This one go hard, bro. 238 ain't even that bad for a collab jacket. To be honest, this one's a banger. 
This one's definitely a banger, bro. Let me know how y'all feel about this one. Definitely one of the standout pieces, in my opinion. If I were to pick anything up, it'll probably be this right here. I'm fucking with this, bro. Even that little hit of red, it just gives it like a pop on that cream. Really nice. The black is hard, too. I'm feeling you on that one. It's more subtle. You can wear it on a more daily basis without being too concerned on it. Elvis, bro. I literally just took an L on the Azor slides. It's it's looking ugly out here, bro. But I'm not going to lie to you. I haven't entered too many pairs at this point. I'm not really too pressed to buy too many Yeezys. I really just went for the Azor slides. These right here. I already own these. Already got a pair of these. I'm really just waiting for these right here, bro. Like, whenever these come out, I need them. Mandatory, bro. These are cool. So th these are all right. These are, I low-key want a pair of these, but I don't know if it's going to be this pair right here. I want to try them out, though. I want to try them out. Yo, OD was good, bro. OD, OD. These go crazy, though, the Onyx. I kind of have a, two colors that are very similar to this, so I'm good. Belugas are all right. Low-key, they're sitting right now. Like, they're trying to get people to enter in these bitches because they probably got hella stock. Don't do your, don't do yourself like these, bro. Don't do yourself like these. I wouldn't mind having another pair of these, but like I said, too many fucking sneakers releasing. I don't need everything. You get what I'm saying? Like I just want a couple pairs of slides and the OG. I'll be cooling, bro. I'll be cooling with that. These are high too. These are high too. But it is what it is. I'm waiting on the zebra slides. <clears throat> Damn, I'm over here dying the fuck. I'm waiting on the zebra slides if they do end up coming out. I've never tried the MX Comforts or these bitches, the Comforts. I've heard good things, but that style ain't for me, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Back to Supreme. Boom. This is clean. Let me know if y'all copping. Copper drop that blue and green color. It's a little too vintage for me, though. But the cream and the black, fire. For me, this is manifestation right here. I'm gonna put an offering on these one day. It's just not today. <laughs> it's just not today, Papa. We got the racing six panel hat, five different colors. This is almost having like logos inspired by different cars and shit like that. Like I could see the, this is Ferrari, right? If I'm not mistaken. They got the little inspired by looking ass logo on it. You got the Goodyear inspiration. I think it's cool. I think this one's different coming from Supreme. It says Supreme fuck them all. Which is how you feeling, that's how you feeling. Hey, I'm not even going, it's okay. Isn't this like DuPont or some shit like that? I don't know, but it's cool, bro. This one isn't that bad. I see why it's a little bit higher on the list. It has something different to offer. Not bad, for sure. So we're getting to the top of the list with these nylon water shorts. Small Supreme box logo on it. Y'all already know if you don't own a pair of Supreme Swimming trunks, this is a nice pair to add to the arsenal, you feel me? You can never go wrong, especially because you could wear them to the pool, but you could also just wear them as regular shorts. One tan ain't too bad neither, but for me, that's what I'm going to do. We got the magazine short sleeve shirt. This is actually hard body, bro. If I were to buy this, it would definitely just be this black color, you feel me? Is that Virgil we got on it, or am I tripping? Is that Virgil or am I tripping, bro? Yo, tell me that shit don't like look like Virgil and Schoolboy Q mixed together. Tell me not. Virgil and Schoolboy Q right here, bro. Tell me I'm tripping, please. I'm tripping, bro. That don't look like Schoolboy Q. <laughs> Got the, the Virgil beard with the schoolboy Q like head structure, bro. Like, I don't know. I think it's a close call, but this isn't that bad of a piece. Honestly, if I were to get it, like I said before, it would just be this black and white. I kind of like how they did the Supreme logos in red because it gives it like a little flavor, but it's nothing too crazy. Like, I think it's not that bad, though. Not that bad. Personally, I would just rather the hat, though. The hat go crazy, in my opinion. I feel like this is a clean, 
camp cap. Like I was saying before, normally they have trash camp caps, but this one right here has like something on it. Like, I don't know what other way to put it. It literally has something on it. Red Bogo. I love when they did like that grocery. It almost looks like one of those grocery store um newspapers with the coupons in it. They did that like last season or two seasons ago. That one was hard. And this is giving me that same style, like that same collage type feeling on it. And I think it's clean, bro. Once again, I think it's hard. We got the 34 inch porcelain Jaguar, my brother. This one right here, $1,500. You feel me? Like, I think it's pretty pricey. I'm not going to lie to y'all. 34 inches is pretty, pretty decent size. It's actually pretty big. I'm not going to lie. For what it is, like one foot, two foot. Yeah, that's just like, like, yay big. Y'all yeah, obviously won't be able to see, but it's pretty decent for what it is. $1,500 is a little crazy. A little crazy, but this is an art piece. If you really think about it, it's more so like a display. Like, if you have fucking a bunch of cause figures or bare bricks and shit, the big ones, put this shit right there. Bing, you got a little, a little situation going on. I feel you, but... If I'm going to spend $1,500, I'd rather spend it on these sexy bitches right here or these sexy bitches right here. You're not going to catch me with the porcelain until my collection is filling up a whole room. Like, nah, we good on the porcelain hand-painted. Don't get it twisty. Hand-painted Jaguar. That's why this bitch so expensive. And it's made in Italy. Bruh. Who the hell is on their emo shit outside? Y'all hear that? Headass, like, we get on this one. Next, we got the Kurt Cobain sweater, which I honestly thought dropped, like, half a year ago, bro. Like, I thought this shit dropped a minute ago, but the Kurt Cobain sweater apparently drops this week. It's going to come out at $188. Which... I was never really, like, a huge-ass fan of Kurt. So, it is what it is, bro. Like, I don't know if I don't know if it's the butt chin for me, bro. It might be the butt chin that made me not a fan. Like, I really don't know what it is. I can't put my finger on it. But, it might be this. Like, I, I really don't know, bro. I really don't know. Like, is it the butt chin or is it me? We'll figure it out, bro, but... At the end of the day, this drops this week. Are y'all interested in this? Let me know in the chat, bruh. Let me know in the chat if this is a cop for you or not. Nah. 188, though, that's a little steep. I'm not gonna lie. I'd rather get the jacket. I'd really rather get the jacket. Yo, if y'all in here and haven't liked the video, bro, my voice is getting all raspy and shit. It's real easy, real smooth. Matter of fact, let's give a shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Nori. You feel me? If you're trying to cop any one of these pieces right here, all you got to do is go on onenori.co and use the promo code SUB15 for 15% off. Just for my lovely people out there watching and supporting. You feel me? I love y'all for life. And I might as well give y'all a better disky. This is only on here, by the way. Like, this is a YouTube 15% promo. Everybody else getting 10%. But I don't mind cutting some of my profit so that y'all can enjoy some of these fine dining items right here. But yeah, I appreciate y'all for life. Let's get back to the motherfucking drop list. We got three more pieces to talk about. One being the Vans Dollar Bill eras right here i could try to like these and as much as i could try it just won't happen bro like i feel like they've done so much better i have one pair of eras in my collection at this point and i would just rather those than these so we good honestly there's a lot of symbolism in the dollar bill y'all know my woke head ass is on a whole different level these days but there's a lot of symbolism in the dollar bill that i honestly wouldn't even want to wear on my feet so yeah, fuck the dollar bill. I wish we didn't have to deal with it. But um, 
these bitches is dropping dollar dollar bill, y'all. Wu Tang looking ass. If you like them, you like them. At the end of the day, I want y'all to understand that when I come on here talking my shit, it's personal, bro. Like, if I don't fuck with something, I'm gonna tell you how I feel. That don't mean you need to feel anywhere near how I feel. That's just how I feel. Because sometimes people be getting butt hurt. Like, nah, bro. I could say this shit is butt cheeks. And if you're fucking with it, then hey, more power to you. I respect your decision. Like, for me, these bitches is butt cheeks. But if you copping them, then yo, I respect it. You get what I'm saying? Like, you make your decisions and that's all good. I just got to make sure I reiterate that for the people that, you know, need their little band-aids to cover their wounds and shit. But... Um, yeah, these, these ain't doing it for me, bro. I wonder if, like, it had more black. Like, let's say this middle panel was black or some shit. Or, like, it just had... I don't know. I don't fucking know. Not as bad as the 450s, though. That's what I'm saying. Look, 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 look. A lot of people don't fuck with these, right? But I want to try them. They're ugly as fuck. But I want to try them. You know what I'm saying? Like... These butt cheeks, though. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. All right. I still love you. They're not for me. These is ass, too. These is butt cheeks as well. But uh, it's something about them that's kind of like making me want to try them. Walking around in these. They could do with some more branding. Facts. I've hear I've heard like mixed ass reviews about these. To be honest, it's just they're calling my I don't know what the fuck. Ever since they dropped the dumplings, bro, I've been trying to cop a pair. I just refuse to pay resale for some shit like this. Like at all, I feel like these shit should cost like a hundred dollars. Be realistic with you. But yeah, that's how I feel. These right here. If they, I'm telling you, bro, if they had like black on the tongue or like black on this mid panel or some shit, I feel like it wouldn't be throwing me off as much. But it's literally like somebody dropped a dollar bill and it fell on your sneaker. Like, that's how I feel about these right here. I don't know. I don't know. Am I tripping, y'all? I feel like it needs just more black or some shit like right here. Like I said before, I don't know. They've done worse. I'm going to say that. They've done way worse. Yeezy Calabasas were the weirdest choice they ever did. I rate them. The Calabasas, I actually had a pair. I had the black pair. And they weren't bad. It's like almost one of those classic sneakers you could wear out whenever. Like, just on some chill shit. But the problem with those was, bro, like, you're fucking around... Poke your toe, like, let's say you got socks on, you poke your toe. Your shit gonna be like this on the shoe, bruh. Your shit go, you gonna see the whole fingernail coming through the shoe, like. I don't know how to explain it properly, bro. Like, it's gonna be like this on the shoe. Like, you can see the whole fucking, like, y'all get what I'm saying, bro. Let me, let me see if I could demonstrate what I'm talking about. All right, right here, right here, right here. So, it's like wearing shoes that do this. Every time you move your fucking foot, it's like this. Y'all get what I'm saying? Like, I could not wear shoes like this. Like, sometimes I might get a little cold to poke my toe up. Or, feel me, I crack my knuckles on my toes. I scrunch it up. Now you know I'm fucking cracking my toe knuckles. Like, this is unnecessary stuff. You get what I'm saying? Like, just couldn't take it down that route. One day, you bitch. I'm gonna have you one day. Alright, let's see what we got. Oh, damn, we got two pieces left. Two pieces left, yo. Calabasas weren't bad. It's just that toe-poking situation for me. But the James Brand Palmer Utility Knife. This is actually something I could use in the studio to open up my boxes and shit. Um, I don't think this is bad. I, I love Supreme Knives, so I am biased. I'm not going to lie to y'all. How much is this shit costing? 
$78. It's aluminum. Okay, $78. Bro, nah. You lost me. $78. You believe this shit? Y'all fucking with this one for $78? Y'all think I'm maturing, bro. Because norm I would have been like, yeah, $78. Fuck it. We can make that happen. Regular ones are twenty dollars cheaper. Okay, see that makes sense. Shout out to Florian, the real goat. These aren't overpriced. At the end of the day, they do have to market. They're gonna make, but if you're not working in a warehouse, what's the point? Yeah, like for me, it would kind of make sense when I do unboxings, which I don't even do that often no more. So yeah, nah, it's cool though. It's cool, but if you don't really need it, you don't really need it. Type shit. We got the tonal logo towel. Three different colors right here. The Supre. This almost gives me like Supreme business card vibes. I kind of like it. Not going to lie to y'all. I have an issue though. I feel like this is something I would buy and never use. So it's one of those things for me. It looks nice as like a little beach towel or whatever. 65 inches by 39. Pretty decent size. Pretty decent size. Like five, six feet. Y'all fucking with the towel? It's at the top of the list, which is crazy. Being that there's Vans coming out, this Kurt Cobain sweater, which I thought was pretty hyped. It is pretty hyped, but the towel overall, that eh? people really fucking with this towel right here. Let me know what y'all copping in the chat, bro. What are y'all copping? Are y'all even getting anything this week? What's your go-to this week? If y'all just tuning into the live, before we proceed, leave a like on this shit, bro. What y'all doing? What you do, bro? What you doing? Also, let me know in the chat if y'all want me to do these shits filmed or live. I feel like it might be like a mixed situation. Next week, I am going to do it filmed because I told the homie LA I was going to film it. So I'm going to do it that way for homie. But trying to get Kurt for flipping green suede camp cab, hopefully in a single cart. Racing cap also solid though. So you're going to get the Kurt. I feel like that one might have some type of resale. Let's see what StockX is talking about. Filmed? Damn, y'all saying filmed? Okay, hold on, hold on. Live is better since we can chop it up on the live. Chat when you think Supreme gonna heat up by July, maybe. Everything so far been mid facts, bruh. Damn, so it's literally torn. It's between the two. Live. Ooh. Y'all saying live, y'all saying filmed. I don't even know what to do, bro. I'm not going to lie to y'all, though. These videos used to do way better when it was filmed. But I kind of don't give a fuck. I feel like I have a better... I have more fun doing it when I'm good live, realistically. Like, they used to do... Like, the views on my channel did this. Because I started doing it live. But... It's not all about that, you feel me? Like, I would like to experience more this way. But if y'all want to film, then I guess I do got to make y'all happy at the end of the day. But they dropped a Cobain tee, which isn't doing too great right now. I think I have this one, if I'm not mistaken. And it's kind of bricking. I feel like the sweater might do better, though. Slight bars. Sweater might definitely do better. Where we at? Uh... 188, especially long term, the butt chin sweater might do better, bro. Let me know if y'all fucking with it. At the end of the day, this week isn't terrible. Would I buy anything? I honestly don't think so, bro. Like, if I had the bread, I'll probably pick up the porcelain. Um, 
The Vans. Nah. This jacket go hard. Probably the standout piece for me this week would be this jacket. The camp cap. Which one was I talking about? The beef and broccoli one. Where that shit at? The fuck? Right here, the beef and broccoli one. That's not bad. Um, The towel, I guess, bro. $100 for a towel, though, because smoke a tip. We good on that one. What else was I going to... Oh. We've been low-key having weekly updates about the Ramelzi Dunks. And we're hearing they're going to release in July. That's kind of the last news that I heard about it, if I'm not mistaken. Let me try to open it for y'all. We're kind of hearing July for these, bro. Yeah. They edited it or whatever. Edited the, 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 the head ass. But yeah, July, bro. That's what we're hearing for the motherfucking Supreme Dunks. So for homie that asked if this is going to heat up, I believe this might be what they end the season with. Maybe I'm tripping. Maybe they might open the next season with it. But July, July to me, July to me right here, bro. I don't know if I'm going to go high or low yet. I might try to get both, to be honest. But... Damn, they already got them. I'm telling y'all, bro. I've been on my early sneaker vibe lately. And I might... Do they have them, have them, or... Um, did you do Nike Dunk Low by you today? I didn't even know that was a thing, bro. I'm not gonna lie, I did not know Nike by you was happening today. Yo, what y'all fucking with these? The Palominos, bruh. Sheesh, I need to see these in hand already. I'm gassed. I told y'all, bruh, if that last video that I posted gets 200 likes, I'm buying these. They cost like $500 for no box pairs right now. It's bread. It's bread. But if that video hits that like goal, we might fuck around and have to do this one just because I kind of want to see them in hand, bro. I want to compare them. I want to see what they're talking about. But these right here, yo, stay tuned. Put your post. Yo, listen, bro. I'm trying to tell y'all. We about to start going crazy. Y'all don't understand. Like, we got a couple pairs early on the way. This could be on the way, too, if y'all stop playing with that last video I posted. YouTube trying to homie, me, so we need to, need to hit them with the boom bang real quick. 200 likes, bro. I will cop these shits. Literally, as soon as it hits it, I will cop these shits. But that was the drop list, bro. I'm not really trying to prolong this video too much on y'all. I'm going to run through it real quick, real smooth, real easy. Look, gradient mesh, poo, -poo smoothie, bro. The reversible jersey shit, like, nah, bro. Goodwill, goodwill. I We got the embroidery brim. Let me zoom in for y'all a little closer. You get a cool vibe. And this one right here, if I were to cop any color at all, believe it or not, it would be one of these two. And I kind of would just buy these as a fit for the Thunders for the summer. I feel like that might be a cool little, cool little vibe, you know? That might be a cool little vibe. This piping shit buns bruh gradient mesh stripe shorts booty cheeks spelled all throughout and then this right here is a recipe for disaster bro like these are baggy jeans from supreme you heard it here first bruh we already know that their pants are baggy as fuck from the jump so you're gonna have to pull out the thumbtacks for this one right here just to make sure they don't drag under your sneaker like nah but we good bro imagine wearing these with these, bruh, dude, come on. Come on. These, with these, should come with a free thumbtack. I'm dead ass. But they got the matching denim shirt. You could literally pull up looking like a cowboy 
both style. You could mix the black with the blue or the blue or the black with the blue, but backwards. I don't know if that makes sense. Both are ass though. Let me let y'all know that here first. You got the Grosso mids. This is kind of what I was saying about the lows. These ones right here, the eras. I feel like if they would have had this style, like the mainly one color with the dollar bill shit on the inside, if they would have done, I think it's the, what the fuck is it? The the authentics or some shit. I don't remember. Bro. But if they would have had that design on the inside, on the old schools, that's what I'm talking about. Because y'all see on these right here, they have like this, they go all the way back, this panel. They throwing it back, bro. But on the on the old schools, it kind of cuts off right here. So they would have had more space to put the dollar bill shit in the middle. That would have been me, bro. That's just me thinking out the box. I feel like if they would have had this on the old schools, it would have worked. It would have worked. One second. But yeah, as is, nah, we're gonna let that, we're gonna let that spray, bro. Yo, Blue Snow, I appreciate you, fam. For real. Yeah, Kenny, just wait for that sale, bro. There's gonna be mad shit in that sale. And if there isn't, they lying, bro. Cause a lot of shit has been sitting, bro. They low-key be removing shit off the site. Cause it be sitting so long. Like, just to make the site not look crazy. I'm trying to tell you. Suede visor, camp cap, beef and broccoli color. The black one is decent too. The other ones are kind of ass. This jacket right here, banger. The two back colors are my favorite personally. That cream is sexy. Not gonna lie. That racing six panel hat. Actually not that bad, bro. And like this wash navy color would be my favorite. Um, The black is cool, but I feel like on the navy, it kind of meshes better. Porcelain Jaguar would be a cop for me if I had the pockets for this shit, bro. Like, 1500 Crazy. <laughs> that shit is absurd. Like, nah. Cam cap, though. This one's not that bad. I kind of wish they would have had the option of this color as well. Because I feel like that would have looked cool on this. But I see where they went with it. I see the vision. I think it's not bad, bro. Magazine shirt. Once again, the Virgil Abloh shirt with um Schoolboy Q. This is decent for the summer i feel like it's a nice little vibe 148 on this one if y'all do want to cop the nylon shorts you can never go wrong with these but i feel like there are better water shorts that they released in the past and i just wouldn't cop these over those type shit the butt chin sweater 188 we chilling bro like i'm honestly not pressed for kurt cobain at all i just noticed that it actually has like a logo on the back i'm glad i went back in it has the Supreme logo right here. I don't know if y'all can see it, but it's literally like barely there, but it's there still. If y'all need that, boom. Y'all already know how I feel about these. I feel like if they were old schools, it would have been better. The utility knife, I thought it was expensive, but once we found out that the actual retail is like 58 or somewhere around there for the one without Supreme, then it kind of makes sense for them to obviously charge a little extra so they could profit i think this is cool if you're actually going to be using it i love supreme knives so it's right up my alley but personally i just been taking a back seat like once my brand released and i did the whole process of releasing a brand i started realizing that my priorities weren't in the right like direction i kind of got to start buying early sneakers and shit to get my channel to grow the way that i wanted to and Supreme isn't doing that for me. I'm still doing this content solely for y'all. I'm not gonna lie to you and for me for me Like I like talking about it. We go live. We could chop it up and shit But I'm mainly focused on my brand, which is the sponsor of this video If you're just joining the live I did release my clothing brand a couple days ago and Just for my YouTube subscribers. I'm doing a 15% off which is sub 15 at checkout This is literally strictly for YouTube. Everybody else got to pay that Full price or 10% off maximum. Supreme's dead, bro. Like, it's, it's dead meat, bro. <laughs> dead meat. That's why I literally only do this video for Supreme. 
And then the rest of my channel, I've low-key pivoted to sneakers. Like, it's mainly about sneakers on my channel these days. Which, honestly, I'd rather spend 200 on a pair of sneakers than on Supreme any day. Easy, bro. Easy. Yo, if this video right here, bro, hits 200 likes, I'm trying to tell y'all, we going to buy these immediately. Like, as soon as it hits it, I'm buying these shits, and we're going to do an early review on the channel. If y'all don't know, these are the suede pair, the reimagined ones. Right now, they're surfacing, and there's a lot of pairs without boxes and shit. Like, I would literally have to buy the the pre-pre-release. Like, I was low-key waiting on some of these on pairs like this to come with boxes, which now they are, you feel me? So, hint, hint. But, yeah, bro. There's a lot of shit going on right now. I'm not going to lie to y'all. That's pretty much it for the drop list, though. Let me know if y'all copping anything this week. If you're just entering the live, make sure y'all go on the confirmed app. I don't know if y'all been on it all day, but there's Yeezys on there. Literally, the last of Yeezy is dropping. Like Most of these shits drop. The only one that I'm waiting for is the Pirate Blacks. I don't know if they loaded up. I took my L on the Azures so far don't know what happened with these i didn't enter for these or these or these or these or these or these or these which i have a pair and i kind of want another pair but i'm debating on that one these ass we already know that these is actually clean bro i don't know didn't enter for these didn't enter for these I'm really just waiting on these, bro. Whenever these drop, I need these. I'm going to see if my girl can answer for me too, you feel me? Because I need them. I need them. I got the seven, 750s in the black, and I definitely want these in the black. But that's neither here nor there, you feel me? I just wanted to let y'all know, because I don't want to be on here, you feel me? And I'm doing it. Y'all not doing it. Especially if y'all want some of these pairs. You get what I'm saying? But we were only able to enter for Onyx and Beluga. They're, they're coming, bro. They're coming. They have to. They have to. What's about the do? Ooh, you hit on the belugas. I wonder how them gonna look on feet, to be honest. Yo, if y'all fucking with the live so far, please leave a like on this video. We trying to get this algorithm going. Maybe some are region specific. I honestly think that might be a thing, but I see them dropping way more pairs than just those two. Because that wouldn't make sense. They've been promoting this shit like they about to drop a big load. Y'all got 42 minutes to enter on these if you want them. I'm trying to check right now. These don't even say the time, bro. That means that nobody entered on these bitches. Or maybe the draw started. Last call, don't miss your chance to get a pair before they're gone. Bitch, <laughs> you know, ain't nobody buying them, bro. They should have dropped better colors because, like, these aren't the best, bro. Like, come on, come on. Damn, this is low-key making me scratch my neck. Like, do I need them? Do I need them? <laughs> ah, that sucks. I don't know, bro. I don't know. What's the color of those wave runners? Of the 700s? Those are the Tefras. The Tefras. 
Those are low key the Tefras, bro. I mean, I just leave it there because the sponsor gonna be mad, bro. The sponsor gonna come for me, bro. Sub fifteen, I'm trying to tell you. Sub fifteen, I'm trying to tell you. Damn, bro. I honestly wanted the Azures. Why are they holding out on the 350s, though? They're definitely holding out on the Pirate Blacks. That's what we need right now. Oh, you're talking about the V1s? Those are the creams, I think. Let me double check for you, but I think those are the creams. Salt. Salt. My bad, my bad. I thought it was cream. 700 salt. Those are actually not bad, bro. I feel like if I had those, I would wear them mad OD, like mad often. I kind of still want a pair of these, though, bro. I want the um the mods. I've been wanting those since forever, bro. Let me see how much they're going for right now. That might be a pair I pick up. I want these, too, bro. Like, my sneaker hit list right now is fucking extensive, bro. Like have a problem <laughs> I think we could all agree that I have a problem let me see the fucking what was I about to look up ooh mobs Azure slides going for like 130 right now it's not that bad to be honest retail was 70 it's not terrible Bro, my sneaker hit list is ridiculous. Like, I don't even know what direction to look right now. And I got to buy early sneakers, bro. Like, dead ass. I just found, like, seven on early kicks. Nah, I'm lying. Six. I spent six on early kicks. Almost capped to y'all. My bad. Was I about to... Yo, I keep it blanking. Mauve 700. I mean, that's not that bad. That's not that bad. DS, they're going for like 350, 340. Retail was like. Retail's like 300 anyway, but I'll probably just got a used pair. Damn, I think I'm going to do it, bro. Right now, I want some Sean Weatherspoons. <sighs> Your boy going through it, bro. Just know I want hella shit right now. I wonder if they shipped out my shoes, bro. I'm about to start socking goat. They still ain't shipped these bitches out, bro. They drop in like a week. I'm so tired. Could you return sneakers on goat? These bitches might get the return button, bro, because they dead ass played me. I bought them on the 18th, fellas. It's the motherfucking 31st. Like, what do you mean? Since you're in New Jersey, you just pay shipping, right? What you mean, what you mean, what you mean? Shipping for what, though? Talking about for Supreme? On um, GOAT? Ooh. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Damn, I ain't think of that. StockX be charging all that. That's why I don't pay taxes on... My bad. I had a fucking... I never knew that, bruh. I always wondered, like, yo, it's mad. Che it's way cheaper to buy the sneaker on GOAT. And StockX be hoeing me with the tax. It makes sense, bro. 
they got like processing fees, like all this other dumb shit. Like the sneakers that has three forty five for a DS pair of mobs, and after everything, it's three eighty. Like relax, <laughs> relax, bro. That's crazy. Got my stuff shipped to New Jersey to my cousin house. Yo, I feel you, bro. I'm not even gonna lie, I would have done this. I would be doing the same shit. Same shit. Cause, bro, shit's already expensive. Imagine paying taxes on top. Like, I feel bad for people like in Cali where like taxes like 10%. Fucking New York, too. Like a $200 sneaker. You got to pay shipping sometimes. And now you got to pay tax, bro. 210 easily turns to 250. Resell be like 250. So now what are you really doing? My, I'm trying to find the mobs on... On GOAT. See, but on GOAT, the prices be higher. So it like balances out. It's so fucking weird, bro. I might get like a used pair. I'm telling y'all, bro, buy used kicks. Used kicks you cannot go wrong with. Cause. Yo, I can't believe this shit, bro. They have a shit. You gotta email them to see what's up. Cause sometimes the reseller cancels the order. Bro, they literally just, they just shipped them. Like, I think it was yesterday. Which I understand Memorial Day, all this extra bullshit, but bro, that does not excuse like still 10 days late. And I wanted the shoe to do the review, obviously. So it's like frustrating, you feel me? But it's one of those things where like, I'm trying to obviously get into this early sneaker shit. And it's one of those things where like sometimes shit happens to kind of like try to slow you down from doing what you really want to do and you just got to make sure you see that shit through like that's kind of even with this bro like with my clothing brand i thought this shit was gonna take off like i don't know what gave me like that idea of this shit was just gonna go crazy but it didn't and it's okay bro like i realized like i can't expect everything to just pop off off the rip or like I can't expect everybody to buy some shit because like I said earlier everybody's in a different predicament so I understand but like you sometimes have a vision of what you want to get done or you have like this idea in your head of what it's gonna be like and it could be completely fucking different and you could you have two options at that point like for me when the sneakers were taking so long I could be like yo fuck this shit this is the only early pair I'm gonna end up buying and I'm done with it, bro. Like, I could have been bitter about it. Or there could be what I did on the other side of this shit. I'm like, yo, you know what, bro? I'm about to double fucking down. So I bought another pair early from somebody that's a little more reliable. And we're here, you feel me? Now these are going to ship. I got another pair on the way. And it's kind of like my clothing brand. I dropped this shit. It's not doing what I would want it to be doing. Like, it's not going as crazy as I thought it would. But you know what? It's going to feel way better when I get my shit to pop because I know it's going to be worth it at the end of the day, bro. Like, that's something that I learned and it's something that I got to keep, I guess, just pushing forward, bro. Like, nothing's going to come easy. Like, and it's something that I have to learn along the way because, like I said, I had a perception of, yo, I've been building these platforms like on Instagram, bro. My Nori Archive page has 45,000 people. Like, I've been building that shit, busting my ass. I'm busting my ass here all the time. And then shit drops and it's like crickets. And I'm like, what the fuck, bro? So now I got to push it twice as hard to make shit happen. And I'm okay with that, bro. Because literally look at the top of the website. It says get comfortable with being uncomfortable, bro. Like some people going to talk they shit. Some people going to say whatever, bro. Like I've been posting videos, obviously, on my Instagram trying to promote this shit to get it out. And people are dead ass saying like, why are you promoting your brand? I'm like looking at myself in the mirror like, bro, am I tripping? Or I built this shit so that I can start something of my own. I'm not just trying to post Instagram pictures for no fucking reason, bro. Like I want to build a brand. And when people talk shit like that, you can either take, once again, take it two ways. Like, yo, 
I'm about to just stop doing it. I don't want people to get butt hurt or double down, bro. I literally commented back like, so you expect me to create this brand, put myself out there, which is not for somebody to start a brand and put their name behind something for people to come shit on. Like, nah, bro, it's not that. So we're going to end up going crazy regardless. Same shit I'm going to do with my brand. Same shit I'm going to do with this early sneakers. And I'm not stopping, bro. I'm not stopping ever, like ever, bro. Nothing is ever going to stop me from reaching my goals. Like I know that shit. And it's just the way it got to be, bro. It's just the way it got to be. And for those people who do show up for me, bro, like you don't understand from the bottom of my heart, like, bro, I can't, I, I don't even know what to say, bro. Like, it's crazy to me that people that I, yo, I, I'm going to tell y'all this right here, bro. People that I do not know physically, like, obviously I know y'all through here, we be chopping it up and shit, but people that I do not know physically supported my brand and people that I do know physically were nowhere to be found. You feel what I'm saying? That shit sometimes hurts more, but you could take it on the other side where it's like people that don't know me are fucking with me. There's two sides to the token, bro. I could either be bitter that people that I love and cherish like near and dear weren't there for me or I feel so much more like respect and love for those people who they, they don't owe me shit. You don't owe me nothing. Nobody do. But like, obviously, if it's family, it gets like blurry. You don't owe me nothing. And you showed up for me. It's like, bro, fuck. I got to keep going. I have to keep going. Like, you get what I'm saying? It's crazy, bro. And the crazy part is once your shit blows up, all the fam going to be like, yo, what's good, bro? Like, it's raps, bro. It's raps. You feel me? I'm going to say those first 10 people that ordered, I promise y'all, bro, once I do something major, that list is not going nowhere. So the, the proof is going to be on my shit. Like, once my shit blows up, bro, those first people that said, you know what? I'll pull these $40 to the side for you, bro. Those people, like, I promise you, bro, one day I will make it up to you. That's crazy, bro. Like, I'm forever grateful. You don't understand. Like, <clears throat> I'm about to go grab dinner, y'all. Fucking hungry. What y'all about to eat for dinner, bro? I'm about to go grab me some din din because I'm starving. I literally had a handful of cereal this morning. Like, literally a handful of cereal. <clears throat> What's up, Terry? My mom making food, but I low key want a DoorDash Popeyes. <laughs> Yo, I feel you, bro. Popeyes be slapping. I low key just found the Korean fried chicken spot near my house, bro. What have I been missing out on, son? It's like these waffle fries with the. Ooh! Damn, I low key want some biscuits too. Damn, son. I'm going to have to see what's up with the biscuits. What I hate about um thing, though, like, when I go on the Popeyes app, I have a mall right next to me, right? But the thing is, if I try to order it online, it'll literally order from the mall Popeyes. And I've ordered from it twice, and they deadass, so we don't have no biscuits. I ordered one time, we don't got no chicken strips. Like, bro, what? How do Popeyes got no chicken strips? So I'll be trying to order from the one that's a little bit more out. It's literally like eight minutes. And it won't let me choose who's delivering my shit. So obviously, since the mall's right around the block almost, 
it'll fucking just order from there. But I'm like, bro, they're not going to bring me my chicken. They're going to give me fries and biscuits or chicken and fries. No biscuit, which you know that's a crime from Popeye's, bro. If you buy Popeye's with no biscuit, we need to, we have, hey, yo, we got to talk in private. You feel me? Like, hit me up in the DM and we could solve this issue because the biscuit is, I'd rather have a biscuit than a bev when I go to Popeye's. So yeah, it's stressful, bro. But you feel me? It is what it is. And then if I try to order it on Uber Eats or DoorDash, they be taxing, bro. Like on the Popeyes app, you got the little deal going on. You feel me? Six tenders, two fries, two biscuits, ten dollars. We fucking with it. You go order that shit on DoorDash, forty-two dollars. Like yo, relax, relax. That shit'll make me eat ice, bro. Like we don't need to do all that. But that's just what I be dealing with. Korean fried chicken do be slapping, though. Do be slapping. I found my spot. I want to spend $25 on DoorDash, and I was tripping. Nuggets and a sandwich, bro. The crazy part is, bro, hunger is hypnotizing, bro. Chill. We need a Bev with them biscuits. <laughs> Facts. I need a Bev, too. But I'm just saying, if it's Bev or biscuit, we going biscuit, bro. Fuck it. I'll drink water in the crib. I'll drink water in the crib, bro. <laughs> Yo, hunger is fucking hypnotizing, bro. I be spending mad bread on some dumb shit because I'm hungry. Like, it is what it is. I might do it today. I'm not going to lie to y'all. <laughs> that shit might happen in like two minutes when I get off this live. I'm fucking starving. I think I'm going to get up out of here, y'all. I love y'all for life. You feel me? If y'all can't cop something, share this shit with somebody that might fuck with it. You feel me? I appreciate y'all. I love y'all forever, bro. Next week, I am going to do the video because it was requested by one of the homies. But if y'all still want a live or some shit like that, I will go live separate from Supreme and we could just chop it up. Just kick it. You feel me? I love spending time with y'all, but I love y'all forever and... I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. Yo, don't forget about the Yeezy releases if it's something that's important to you. Feel me? I don't want y'all to not be able to get nothing. But I love y'all forever. I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. Peace.